Hi everyone, so here's my Bath & Body Works project use it up update for the month of July. Like always, I'm going to go over my empties first. So for this month, my family and I used up three soaps. Two of them are the foaming type and then one gel. So to the left, we have Island Margarita and then to the right, we have Coastal Watermelon. Both of these smell awesome. I would definitely repurchase both of them. Definitely the one that's my personal favorite that I like is Coastal Watermelon. It's so juicy. It reminds me a little bit of Pink Watermelon Blast. So I don't know if it came out in a foaming hand soap, but I would definitely pick that up for sure. To go over the progress lines, let's see. So they were almost done. Island Margarita was right here. And so I just finished up that little section. Whereas Coastal Watermelon had a little bit more, so the line was right about here. So we finished up a good chunk because Coastal Watermelon was in the bathroom that we tend to favor or use the most. So thankfully, I think we have one more Island Margarita or it could be Island Papaya, but for sure we have one more of these. Unfortunately, we don't have another Coastal Watermelon. I wish this scent were to come back. I don't think it came back, came back out or returned for 2023. Let this one come out. So this one says two. So it came out 2022. I don't know, maybe. Maybe next year or I can find it in an outlet store. And then my sister finally finished up champagne toast in the gel. I feel like now she got used to having a non-foaming hand soap option available in our bathroom. So while I don't think that this is neither of our favorites, I think definitely I will be looking into more gel hand soaps. So this one was a pretty old one. As you can see, the sticker, um, all the older like 2020 soaps have a sticker so we can use that up first. So last month she was right here and she just finished this up. Towards the end, it gets really hard to get the little bit of soap left. So what we do is we add water and then we like shake it up and then basically use it. But towards the end, what you're essentially doing is getting the like soap and water mix and just kind of dumping it on your hands. So if anyone knows a better method to using up the soaps than that, I will greatly <laughs> appreciate that. But yeah, this one, what am I purchased? Okay, next we have one single wick that I was using up and that is Sweet Whiskey. So I definitely recommend Sweet Whiskey. I believe it came back out during the fall of this year. So you can easily find this in a three wick if you so choose. And this one is very strong which I did like because I wasn't expecting that much of a throw. So last month it was right here and then I just basically used it up and then it still smells and it didn't give me any issues. I haven't burned the new signature single wicks, but I personally have never experienced any issues with the Bath and Body Works single wicks in the mason jar. So yeah, this is just a very, I believe it's like amber and berry mix, but it definitely reminds me of perfume yeah so there's golden amber vanilla infused whiskey and sweet red berries yeah definitely repurchase this is strong if you want a not a powerhouse single wick because all you're ever gonna get from a single wick would maybe be like a uh, five six but it's not gonna go past that but this definitely filled up the little area uh, or the little corner that it was in in my room. Let's do honorary mentions real quick. So my mom, I tend to give her a single wick for her to light up every first of the month. That's just something that she does and she tends to light it in the kitchen. And so initially I didn't really like this and I'm like, oh, why did I buy Mary Maple Bourbon? Because there were a lot left over two SASs ago, but now I'm kind of regretting not getting more because this was even stronger than the sweet whiskey that I burned. So that's to tell you something. And I think the reason why is because in Mary Maple Bourbon, here, let me show you the scent notes real quick. So it's sweet maple sugar, rich bourbon, aged cedarwood. So I think the reason why I thought this was an odd combination besides it being like boozy because of the bourbon is the mixture of the super syrupy um like the syrupiness from the maple and yet there's a slight saltiness from the cedar wood it reminds me of like sweet and salty popcorn it just that's not my thing but the more that she burned this I was like oh this is really nice and it was an added plus that it was strong so long story short I probably should have gotten this in a three wick I would recommend this but this is one I feel like 
a not blind by safe candle, but it is strong. And to go along with the theme of honorary mentions, my sister finished up some old shower steamers that we ended up getting. Was this last SAS or this SAS? Well, we paid like pretty cheap for this, or I paid not so much for this. So this is the Breathe Deep kind in eucalyptus and lavender. And I, it's my personal opinion that all the newer scents that come out are pretty weak. So all the old scents like eucalyptus spearmint, um, what is that? Lavender vanilla, orange ginger. I feel like those were really strong. And now, at least this one, this was significantly less potent than the orange and ginger. So yeah, that's the only thing is that she didn't really particularly like the scent. And I feel like there are other ones that I like more. Like for example, there was the hibiscus, mandarin, and violet one that I finished up. And I just really enjoy that scent. I think now going forward, I'm going to stick to, if it's on sale, um, lavender and vanilla. So there's that. And I have a feeling that my sister took off the price tag because she is the type to do that. But yeah, um, in this container comes six shower steamer tablets. Did I mention, but this is not a repurchase. For home fragrance, I was using this in my Wallflower scent control on high. And this is the red, white, and blue cake. I would repurchase this one. I think I have one more as a backup. So this one, um, I'm a little bit like, eh, with the white, like the white cake note. It does smell a little bit artificial, which is right there, soft white cake. But I do like the weird combination of the white cake and the medley of berries. So we have red raspberries, ripe blueberries, whipped vanilla cream. So yeah, last month it was right here and now it is completely gone. I kept unplugging and replugging this. So finally it is all empty. I'm so happy when I show you my empties that you cannot like even really see a drop. I tend to do that by switching it. In between different wallflower plugs and i personally can still smell it till the last drop i know some people tend to throw them out when they're like even here or here so maybe if you do want to continue using it maybe try a different plug or it could be just the plugs that i have work really well there's that i would repurchase red white and blue cake but maybe just one more all right and then i think this is my oh second to last empty we have the shower steamers I got a bunch of these. If you saw my summer 2023 semi-annual sale wrap-up, I split them 50-50 or like 60-40 with my sister. This one is really strong. Unlike the Breathe Deep Eucalyptus Lavender, yeah, this pales in comparison to orange and ginger. So there was a total of six tablets. However, my sister and I went 50-50. So I think I finished maybe about three and maybe she finished three or like, you know, four and two, something like that. Um, but yeah, this one, I could actually smell it. The only thing is that it's not going to be as strong as, let's say, um, if you're using like a tree hub body scrub or your bath and body with shower gel, it's just an added layer of fragrance. And I use it in the beginning because I tend to take a pretty long shower. So it's done dissolving within like five to 10 minutes. And you also have to factor in if you turn off the, like the water when you're shampooing, et cetera, et cetera. So there's that. I would have purchased this. I... <laughs> And of course I did. This scent, I believe, is discontinued and it's not going to be coming back. So there's that. You might not be able to find it unless you go to like an outlet store. Uh, strength level wise, I would say this is about maybe like a 7 out of 10. And then my sister gave me one of hers to try out this Breathe Deep. I would give it like a 5 or 4 out of 10. And then the last empty that I have, so happy, I ended up using this as a body lotion instead. Well, of course, it's body lotion, but I used it instead of like a regular full size lotion. Okay, and this one I had weight. So this is a Thousand Wishes body lotion. Previously, this weighed 1.7 ounces. Now it is completely empty and it weighs 0 0.6 ounces. There's like a little bit on the edges, but my fingers are pretty small. I mean, they're kind of bony. So I just stuck my finger and then kind of like tapped it out. Um, I wish there was another like... I wish this was in a different format so it was easier to open up because honestly sometimes some of it is stuck right here and you can't get it out unless you cut it open and that might not be worth your time. It's a lot easier to cut up those like tubes and stuff. Thousand Wishes, I don't really like the scent, wouldn't repurchase it, but I did get a lot of compliments from my coworker who really enjoyed this particular fragrance. Next category we are going on is 
on to is body care. Okay, so here we have my shower gel. We have Cherry Limeade. I am using this alongside currently with a philosophy. What is it? A shower gel, body wash, bubble bath, you know, like the three in one. So previous month, the fill line was right here. Now it is right here. So maybe in one, two, three. So maybe in three more months, I'll be done with it. Right now in California, it's pretty hot. It's like 90s to like low hundreds. So hopefully I finish this up before the fall so then I can move on to another scent. But yeah, there is that one. Okay, next one, we have one that won't have a lot of progress and that is the Thousand Wishes Travel Size Fine Fragrance Mist that we use as a bathroom spray. So if you see right there, previously it was at that line. Now it is right there. What is that? Two centimeters. Can't wait for this to be done but i feel like my sister tends to favor maybe one bathroom i think she's the one that mainly uses up this spray so maybe she's been using up my dad's bathroom a little bit more um i'm not sure i might end up using this on my pjs when i finish up my dedicated after the shower fine fragrance mist but that won't be until later down the line yeah i wouldn't recommend this scent then again my coworker loves this so i may yeah, definitely not a repurchase. Okay, next one we have is my dedicated after the shower fine fragrance mist. I use this a lot and I just go ham on my PJ as well as once that's kind of dried and settled in, I spray myself one more time before I exit the shower. It does stain my clothes. I keep saying that, but you know, just in case you don't know, be careful. I did recently get a new PJ, side note, that is like a light baby blue. So I haven't been using it for like those times where I wear that particular PJ because I just don't want to ruin it because then it gets like just dingy and dark and mm -mm, I'm not about to do that. So previous fill line, it was right here. Now we are right here. So maybe I would say two more months I'll be done with this, but cannot wait for this one to be over with. I kind of go back and forth whether or not I like this or not, but I there I have plenty more I have maybe about 30 or 40 more fine fragrance mists if you've ever seen my collection video so I don't need this particular one in my life anymore so there's that okay next we are going on to the glotion that I added in the scent dream bright which I'm going to retire because wearing this in the summer is just uncomfortable because since this one makes your skin super glowy, it tends to stick to my, to like my bed sheets, to my bed cover, my comforter. Heck, if I brush up against like the clothes I pick out for the next day, it's shiny with sparkles. So last time when I used up a lotion in Sun Wash Citrus from the Love Always Wins collection, I tended to put like my really thick PJ bottom pants. And I feel like because they were like fuzzy and stuff, some of the glitter would transfer onto the PJ versus stick to myself and my bed sheets. So I'm going to bring this back up, but during the winter and fall, once it gets colder, because right now it's definitely not cold. Previously weighed 9.1 ounces, and right now it weighs 9.1 ounces, so there is no progress. I did use maybe like smallest bit, but it's not going to make a difference, but yeah. I'm saying goodbye to Dream Bright. Okay, and so I decided to add another hand cream. I believe this is my last hand cream from Bath & Body Works. It is in the scent Tutti Fruity Candy. I have the matching spray for this as well. And the reason why I want to add just this really, ooh, this really tiny hand cream is that I realized that I have a body butter from last year that I purchased from TJ Maxx from Onyx Bathhouse that it kind of goes with the weather a little bit more. The scent is pineapple mango. Here I have it actually. Of course, I get everything on sale. So it was $4.50 and it's pretty like hefty and stuff. So yeah, there it is. Um, it's not like technically sealed because I can plop this open. But I want to focus on using up this pineapple mango scented one because it goes along with the summer. So I want to finish up this one because I believe it has those like shea cocoa butters basically the butters I feel like tend to make these hand creams go bad quicker and the picture is super cute it's just like a cute little bunny stuck in the fields but yeah this is one ounce if you can see it does not have the scent notes but this also smells just the slightest bit like champagne toast 
and the weight for this is 1.1 ounces. So I think the 0.1 is just for the packaging and the lid and everything. Okay. And then the only hand sanitizer that I have is this very old zippy fruit punch hand sanitizer that we keep in my car and I tend to just offer it to my sister. So it's super watery and old. The last time when I added it, it was right here at the top. Now it is right there. So happy that this is going out, but you know, sad to see it go because it's definitely one of the first Bath & Body Works items that I have ever purchased. Well, before I started collecting and like buying multiples at a time versus just buying one item at a time. But okay, let's go on to the soaps that I have. I think I mentioned this last time, but I was going to add this lemon cello foaming hand soap into my dad's bathroom. I think he did like it because it reminds him a bit of sunshine and lemons, which is another favorite scent of everyone's. However, for me personally, I think this is a little bit too zesty, slightly sour, and that's just not really my most favorite soap that we have. I would prefer, let's say, Island Margarita, Island Papaya, the Coastal Watermelon. So I think I bought maybe about like one more of this or two backups. I will purchase it if they like this particular scent, but if not, I like to try different scents out, of course, when they're on sale. And I think one of the main reasons is the Sorrento lemon note in here. Sugar mint, I don't really get. Fresh verbena, mm, I'm not sure if I remember what that smells like, but I don't think that's a prominent note in limoncello. So previously it was right here at the top, and now we have about maybe halfway done or almost halfway done. Okay, and for the main bathroom, we have two soaps, one foaming hand soap and one deep cleansing soap. For the foaming hand soap, we have strawberry pound cake. Again, this is an older one, so it does have that little sticker there. And I really liked this collection and the packaging. Strawberries, golden shortcake, whipped cream. And then for the fill lines, previously we were up here. Now we are about down there. So what, like 20% left? And for the second soap, we have this deep cleansing hand soap in the scent strawberry soda. I'm so glad I got four of these. This was during the time for the semi-annual sale that it was showing up 75% for Bopis, but not in the store. My sister and I both really liked it. It's not overly sweet, like the fine fragrance mist, so in home care, dig it. Fragrance notes are fresh strawberries, bubbly seltzer, crushed ice. Previously, it was at the top right here. Now it is right there. Okay, for room sprays, I guess I forgot for the second month in a row that I had berry waffle cone in my Project Use It Up. So there's no progress. Last month it was 1.6 ounces. Now it is sadly wah, wah, wah at 1.6 ounces. Okay, next we have our dedicated bathroom spray in the scent Bright Christmas Morning. Previously this weighed 1.9 ounces. Now it weighs 1.1 ounces. Okay, so I don't have like currently the item in front of me because I leave it in my work office. So it is the pumpkin apple that was added last month for the project. Previously, it weighed 2.2 ounces. Now it weighs 1.7 ounces. Okay, and for this month, I think I was doing a lot of candle reviews for some reason. I think I'm like switching over to that a little bit. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep up with it, but that's to preface this and say I didn't get a lot of candle burning done, specifically Bath & Body Works. So there's not a lot of progress and I'm still burning this sea salt and aroli through a candle. You're going to laugh when you see the amount of progress I did. Check it out. I only burned this once and it moved like half a centimeter. So yeah, I think I just burned this once and I even trimmed my wicks for the next time. And yeah, I still like the scent. The only thing is that now I'm picking up a little now bit. Now I'm picking up a little bit more of the eucalyptus and I'm not sure how I feel about that. It does evoke more of a spa feel, but I feel like I liked more, um, what was it, the neroli blossom note that was in here, or that is in here. So, mm, I feel like I'm like back and forth, but I think this is a very like spa, elegant, I want to relax type of scent. And then I ended up adding this candle because I wasn't sure if I was going to keep these or return them because I was able to snack some for 75% off when they mismarked them instead of like 50% to 75% off and that is the new sweet tea and lemonade scent that came out um, if you can tell this one was sold with the incorrect lid I don't think they stole it or anything but I think it just either got 
broke, misplaced, or whatever. So when I started this candle, it was at the top right around there. Now it is right here. And I do really like the scent. I do want to say that I prefer the Homeworks iced tea candle. However, this one, the lemonade note is more prominent and it's definitely sweeter. So no issues with that. This one does burn a little bit like hot and bright. So you need to stay on top of trimming the wicks. So I'm for sure going to burn this one. I'm not sure if I should retire sea salt and rolly and hold it for maybe like future months or something. But definitely in my downtime, I'm going to be burning sweet tea and lemonade because that's just a perfect summer candle. Okay, next we have a single wick that I added but only burned like twice. And that is Bright Christmas Morning. So I do really enjoy this scent both in the body care and in the home fragrance. However, this single wick candle didn't give me hardly or didn't hardly gave me any throw. I'm getting a little tongue tied. But yeah, I would say the strength uh, was about maybe like a two or a three out of ten. And I left it burning for like two or three hours. So it wasn't anything that like I needed to let it burn for longer. It did burn pretty cleanly though. So if I open this up pretty clean at the sides. So that's the only plus thing about it. So I probably wouldn't repurchase this in a single wick. Definitely I would for a wallflower. So it was previously right there. Now it is right here. So I'm going to be burning this maybe also when I have downtime. And since I finished the red, white, and blue wallflower refill that I was using in my scent control plug, I decided to go to one that I have about like 12 backups of because I just love the scent. I never picture myself getting tired of it. And that is strawberry pound cake. So I'm, use this, I'm using this on high on my scent control. So when I added it, it was right here. Now it is about halfway done right around there. All right, so that is it for my Bath & Body Works portion of this project Use It Up. I'm going to switch over to Lush. Okay, for this month, I only have two empties. The first one is this Dream Cream Body Lotion. I didn't really like the scent too much. Previously... This weighed, let's see, 2.2 ounces. Now that is completely empty, it weighs 0 0.6 ounces. Oh, and I wouldn't repurchase this because I don't particularly like the scent. Okay, next, I'm so happy this is out of my project. I love the scent though. So I found out that they have a perfume in this, so I may purchase it, but it's a little bit expensive. But yeah, we have the American Cream Hair Conditioner. And when I tell you this made my hair feel so dry, like even more so than the like dollar <laughs> dollar store shampoos that I use, it just wasn't hydrating at all. So previous month, it was right here, almost at the edge. Now it is right there. So it's pretty clean. Uh, what I did is that I kind of mixed some water and then I just kind of did it as a final rinse on my hair. And I think I did finish it within the best by use or basically like what Lush recommends you finishing this product in. Love the scent. Wouldn't recommend this. Wouldn't repurchase it. Might get the perfume. Okay, here we have the Pink Peppermint Foot Lotion. Previously, this weighed 1.3 ounces. Now it weighs 0 0.9 ounces. So it is almost done and over with. Okay, so this little scrunched up soap is what my sister is using in the shower. Previously, this weighed 0 0.5 ounces. Now it weighs 0 0.3 ounces. And I believe that this scent is coming back for Christmas 2023. Okay, and the Shoot for the Star soap that I'm just so tired of. Previously, it weighed 0 0.9 ounces. Now it weighs 0 0.8 ounces and it's still on the chopping block. Good news, at least for my Golden Pear soap. Previously, it weighed 0 0.8 ounces. Now it weighs 0 0.5 ounces. Next, the only body scrub from Lush that I am using, we have the Ocean Salt Face and Body Scrub, which is too abrasive to use on your face, so I just use it on my body. I also don't really like it because I feel like a little snail or slug that just has way too much salt <laughs> on itself. But previously this weighed 11.3 ounces, now it weighs 3.3 ounces. So this one is almost done. Okay, next we have the only body conditioner and I was honestly saving this to do a rose scented shower routine and it goes perfectly with a Bath and Body Works whipped rose latte if you happen to have it. 
So for this Rose Argan body conditioner, previously it weighed 2.2 ounces. Now it weighs 1.9 ounces. Okay, and I decided to add an item to the Lush portion and that is Dream Cream. So my sister gave this to me, so that's the reason why I wouldn't go out of my way to purchase this. But as I'm adding this right now, it currently weighs 1.7 ounces. All right, so that is it for my Bath and Body Works and Lush project use it up update for the month of July. Thank you so much for watching and hope you have a great day. Okay, bye.